After two days of fighting with militants from the rival militant coalition Far Itbatu, Hayat Ari Asham has launched a large-scale attack in order to put an end to the resistance to its dominance in Greater Idlib. According to pro-militant sources, Hayat Ari Asham members, supported by battle tanks, stormed the town of Arab Said west of Idlib city. This town was recently captured by Far Itbatu forces and turned into a foothold for operations against Hayat Tari al Sham. At the same time, Hayat Tari al Sham besieged and stormed the HQ of Huras al Din, a member group of Faith Batu, in the town of Samada. In their turn, Huras al Din attacked several Hayat Tari al Sham checkpoints near the western entrance to Idlib city, allegedly seizing them. Faith Batu accuses Hayat Tari al Sham of conspiring with foreign forces, mainly Turkey, against the so called Syrian Revolution. Earlier in June, Hayat Tari al-Sham arrested Ansar al-Din commander Abu Saleh al-Uzbeki and Liwa al-Mugatlin al-Ansar commander Abu Malek al-Tali. Both these groups are part of the recently formed Far Ithbatu coalition. Meanwhile, pro-militant sources are spreading rumors about an increase in operations of the Russian special forces in southern Idlib. According to them, a unit of the Russian special forces raided a position of Turkish-backed Sugur al-Sham near the village of Benin, killing four and injuring three members of the group. This became the first militant claim about the Russian special forces in Idlib since the signing of the March 5th de-escalation agreement between Ankara and Moscow. If such an attack really happened, it was likely as a response to the recent drone attack by Idlib militants on Russia's Mamum Air Base in Latakia. Late on June 24th, an unidentified drone struck a militant vehicle moving on the road near the town of Binish in Greater Idlib. The strike completely destroyed the vehicle and the several persons inside. While the eliminated militants are yet to be identified, local sources claim that the vehicle likely belonged to Ansar al-Tawhid or Huras al-Din.